What's going on, guys? Gully Boy back at you with a brand new video. And right about now, I'm about to react to my infamous video, 100 Rappers I Think Suck. Now, I feel like I got to do this because my previous video probably might not reach a lot of people, but I think that this one will. Now, I haven't watched this video ever since it dropped back in, like, what, 2017? And the reason why was because the day that it dropped, it hit a million views. And on that same day, my YouTube channel got a second strike, which meant that I couldn't post nothing for about three months. So imagine that you just uploaded a viral video, but your YouTube channel is at risk of being terminated, which means that you will be banned from the platform and you can never come back. You just hit a million views and that happened. I'm going to be real. I don't love this video like y'all do because I had to deal with that. I was crying. I was just like, why is this happening? This doesn't make any sense. And then on top of that, this video, I was very disingenuous. Now, there are, I remember I put rappers in here that I didn't even listen to. That's what I'm referring to when I'm saying I'm being disingenuous. I also came off as angry in this video. And I never was angry because I didn't like a certain rapper or a song. The reason why I was angry was because that was the time in YouTube. That was, you know, that was the whole time frame. Leafy was here. He was like this angry dude who just like, you know, cussed every five seconds. And I thought that that's what I had to do in order to get views. It worked. <laughs> but on some real ish, it really wasn't who I was, man. So even back then, there might be some rappers in here that I do think are trash, though, because I think. I don't know. We're going to watch it. But I'm explain. I'm going to explain as we go. So with all that being said, man, let's just go ahead and get right into it. I already know that I'm about to be cringing. Oh, my God. It's going to be so much cringe. And before y'all get y'all hopes up, no, I'm not going to react to suspect rap lyrics. It's not going to happen. I'm not. I'm, de I'm definitely not. I'm not touching that. But this one, I feel like it's important. <laughs> These are in no particular order because you can't rate trash, bro. What the f <laughs> I know, bro. Nah, 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 nah. Let's just get this shit over with. I am not a fraud. Why am I not God? Now, I'm not gonna lie. Lil Wayne used to be the shit back in the early Cash Money years. But ever since whack-ass albums like Rebirth, I'm Not a Human Being, and A High Amount of Auto-Tune, I think that makes him a good candidate to be on this list. Like, you can't be good for a decade, then be whack for the next decade. That shit just don't cut it. Now, that whole thing right there was just completely disingenuous. Because... I, I I wrote that good because you would have you would have thought that I actually did listen to Wayne's albums, but I I haven't listened to a single Wayne album. I'm sitting up here talking about Rebirth and I'm Not a Human. I don't I haven't even listened to those albums. How can I know that they're trash if I haven't even listened to them? So for me to even be saying you can't be good for a decade and be whack for it, I I, I wouldn't even know that. And then now. In 2023, now that I'm actually listening to Lil Wayne, I literally said in this clip right here that Hot Boy Wayne was the shit. And no, no, Hot Boy Wayne wasn't. Wayne started to develop and he got better over the years. The Carter was his, the Carter albums was his peak. And my favorite Wayne albums so far, I haven't listened to his whole discography yet. My favorite Wayne album so far is the Carter 3. And it is really, it is a really good album. So, I was completely disingenuous right here. The whole thing was just fake. Didn't even listen. Didn't even listen to none of these albums. Like, what am I? Like, what are you talking about? Like, like you can't be good for a decade, then so be stupid, whack for the bro. next decade. It's so dumb. Now that I look back at it, bro, like for real, bro. This shit just don't cut. It. Okay, I get it. Let me think. I guess it's my turn. Maybe it's time to put this pussy on your sideburns.
Yep. This is basically Nicki Minaj's rhyme scheme in a nutshell. Her lyrics 90% of the time are about her pussy, ass, and titties, which makes her music very repetitive, and she just completely sucks and her voice is annoying as shit. Nicki Minaj was another artist that I didn't listen to. And what I said right there was a complete lie because 90% of her lyrics are not about her vagina and her ass and her titties. It's not true. I listened to three Nicki albums, Pink Friday and um, Pink Print are my favorites, of course, but she did have some good songs on her second one, the uh, Roman Reloda album, like The Young Forever. Nicki is very talented. She can rap. She can sing. She can make pop music. She can make R&B music. She's a really good artist. And if you listen to her music, she does not just rap about her body parts in a sexual way. It doesn't happen. She probably might have like two songs. Not even that. Because cause like on Pink Friday, the first one, I can't even think of a song like off the top of the head where she's like being overly sexual. I can't. On Pink Print, you got Endaconda, but I think that's the only song on that album where she was like being super overly sexy. Other than that, she don't, it, it doesn't even happen. So that was a lie. I was completely disingenuous right there too. Nicki Minaj, like I, that's crazy. Didn't even listen to her music, but I'm calling her trash. So, okay, that was another one that was disingenuous. And I got a nigga grocery okay. bag. Rest in peace, Gutta Gutta's career, 2009 to 2009. His last words were, and I got her nigga, grocery bag. One of the worst rap lines in hip hop history. Nigga, you will not be missed. That was crazy. That nigga Gutta Gutta was ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, the stuff that I heard him on, didn't really care for him. And on that Bedrock song, he was ass. So, I went line right there. The whole RP that was just, that was that was very dramatic, bro. And I can understand how some people would think that is funny, but is 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 just super duper over dramatic. But he was ass on that song, and that and that line was that line was ass. And I got her the grocery bag. Yeah, that was a bad line, but. I might be too strong out on compliments, overdosed on confidence. Why the hell do people call this dude a rapper? He's a f***ing R&B singer, and his perpetration level is over 9,000! You ain't start from no bottom. Yo bitch ass started from the top. Oh, perpetrating ass. Now, that was just crazy. Because the fact that I said, why do they call him a rapper when he is a rapper? I will, cl I do classify Drake as a rapper. Now, Drake is somebody who I haven't listened to none of his albums, but I have heard him on a lot of features. Um, and for the most part, he kills that shit. One in particular is Sicko Mode, because I listen to I'm li I listen to like a, quite a bit of Travis Scott's discography. Sicko Mode was one of the, one of the features that he just straight killed. He on, he on a new Travis album, The Meltdown. He killed that uh, moment for life with Nicki Minaj. I'm about to start listening to Drake's albums because his rap style is is it definitely grew on me because pause. I always gotta pause after that because he's good from what I hear from the features. And then the whole started from the bottom. Everybody was using that joke, bro. Everybody was using, man, you ain't start from no bottom. Everybody. That was a that was a recycled joke. Like perpetrating that, man. This shit is cringy as hell, bro. Like, I know y'all think it's funny, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. The fact that this man thinks it's okay to say A and yeah for 80% of his songs earns him a spot on this list. He also thinks it's okay to call himself a rock star when he's not even in a band. Lil Uzi Vert, man, let me tell you something real quick. Just because you suck at rapping doesn't mean you just claim to be a part of another music genre. Like, what kind of stupid shit is that? No, what kind of stupid shit would that you just said? That was stupid, and it's it's so hypocritical. It's, it's so hypocritical because I listen to a rapper named King Gordy, right? And he classifies himself as a rock star. Being a rock star doesn't mean you gotta play a you gotta be in a rock band. Like there's a such thing as like 
rock star lifestyles. And that's probably what Uzi was referring to. Another thing that was disingenuous right there. Me saying that he say A and yeah in 80% of his songs. How would I know that if I didn't listen to his music? Now, I have listened to Lil Uzi Vert. I listened to his new album, Pink Tape. He's another artist that's very creative and he's very talented. I did a top 10 songs video on him. And he got songs that I like. So, that was just so stupid. Like... <laughs> It's like it's like the stuff that I'm saying is just like so hypocritical and dumb because I I, I literally listen to rappers that call themselves rock stars. Even back then, was like I said, I I listened to King Gordy back then. ICP and all them. If you want to hear somebody moan through an entire song, then this whack ass rappers for you. Rich Homie Quan was an was a artist that I've never listened to. Still haven't listened to his music. So how can you say you want to listen to an artist moan through every song? Just listen. How do I? How would I know that if I don't listen to the man? And a lot of these, and, and and the reason why I put a lot of these artists on here, like these, like the new popular artists at the time was because the perception of them was that they were trash. So I knew that if I put them in this video and I put them in a thumbnail, that it is going to draw a lot of attention. And it worked because the video got a million views in one day. And I feel like a lot of those views and a lot of people that like this video are people that were like me back then that didn't actually listen to these rappers. You just said that they were trash based off of how they look or you heard like one of their songs playing in the background um somewhere and you like oh that's trash but you have not actually sat down and actually listened to their music a lot of people still do that they still come on my channel and do that they doing y'all doing it with doja cat a lot of people are saying that her new album is trash and i bet you you didn't listen to it we gotta stop being disingenuous and I'm den I'm denouncing this, bro. Like for real, this is this this is BS, bro. Like real, I'm I'm, I'm I'm a hypocrite. I was I was a hypocrite. I'm not no more, but I was I was a huge hypocrite back then. Oh. If you wanna not understand what a is saying on his entire album, then this whack ass rapper is for you. How would I know that? I never listened to a Young Thug album. Now, on that song right there, I was like, what is that nigga? Because I, I used to hear that song in the background. I'm like, what is he saying? But for me to say, if you want to not understand what a nigga is saying on your entire album, how would I know that if I haven't listened to the album? Now, Young Thug has fe is featured just like um Drake. He's featured on a lot of songs that I like his verses on. Yeet has a song called Outside, and his verse is fire on that song. Um, he got the song with Travis, uh, the out west. His 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 verse was fire on there. Young Thug is another artist that I need to sit down and listen to. I'm gonna do a top ten most popular song uh, video on him. Oh yeah, Mama Sita was another song that he was fire on. All him, Travis, and Rich Homie Quine was fire on that song. I remember I re I remember I reviewed Days Before the Rodeo back then. That was one of the major highlights. So. It's just me being disingenuous again. If you want to hear a communicate with extraterrestrials, then this garbage ass rapper is for you. Like seriously, this dude sounds like an alien stuck a probe up his ass. Nah. Mm -mm. Now that song right there, I'm going to be honest. I haven't like that was another example of a song that I didn't listen to. But I heard it in the background. I'm like, man, that don't, that's, that don't sound right. Bro. That sound ass. So I was being disingenuous right there again because he was somebody that I never listened to. I don't, I don't think I, the only thing I know about him is that song, but I haven't, I don't, I, I don't, I've never listened to the, that full song for me to, for me to be saying all of that. Like, mm, it's, eh, I don't, I don't even, I wouldn't even know that. Cause all I heard was the, mm, I was in Atlanta. Ah, that's all I ever heard. So, 
Vanilla Ice isn't whack for Ice Ice Baby. He's whack for this shit. I'm coming through with the wickedness. Inject the fluids of the sickest and watch as I kick this. The f is this? I don't think Vanilla Ice, I don't even think Vanilla Ice is whack, but I knew that it would have been funny. Now, that song that I played after that was when he was in his, in his like, when he was in his other phase of his career, which I didn't listen to. I didn't listen to none of that music. The only time I've heard Vanilla Ice rap in like the early 2000s um, after the Ice Ice Baby was on a song with Insane Clown Posse. I think it, I forgot what it was called, but it was on the Forgotten, Fresh, Forgotten Freshness 4 album. It's the only time I listened to him outside of Ice Ice Baby. So that was another instance of me like, I ain't gonna lie, I was a mastermind at this shit. And I think that's because I know so much about hip hop. But even then, right there, like I said, I don't even know what that song was that played <laughs> after Ice Ice Baby. Like, what, what even is that? Is this another case of me being disingenuous? <laughs> Nigga, do you know who you with? It's Tony A. Yo, up in this bitch. Every rap squad has at least one wag rapper, and that's what Tony Yayo is in G Unit. I don't, I do not think that Tony Yayo is whack, bro. When I hear him rap with G, I do, I'm like, man, this nigga suck. I don't even know where that came from, bro. I don't, like, I don't, I don't think Tony, I don't think Tony Yayo is trash. That's crazy. Why do I to put Tony Yayo in there, bro? Cause when I think of trash, I think I don't like what, what what do I think of, bro? Like gutter gutter. It's probably the only thing. You gotta be like gutter gutter trash. You know what I'm saying? Like Boogity Boogity. Boogity Boogity. Hoogity Boogity. Boogity Boogity. Boogity Doogity 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 Doogity. Now that was now that was funny right there. But again, Migos was a part of that. New generation of rappers that was considered trash. And I was being disingenuous right here again. I remember that Snoop Dogg clip when he was rapping, when he was like, I don't be understanding what they be saying. Oogity boogity 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 boogity. And sometimes, because I have heard, because they was on Rodeo 2 on a Travis Scott song. And I, and I think I do remember like, Quavo and Offset, I, I couldn't really understand what they were saying, but Takeoff, he was flowing on that bitch, going crazy. But Migos is another group that I didn't sit down and listen to. It was simply, they was a part of that new generation of rap. New, gen new generation rap is trash, so I'm going to say that they're trash. Very, very disingenuous, bro. Like, I like the way you do that right there. Right there. Like the hip walk and let down your heart. Down your heart. You know what? These two have a lot in common. They're both from St. Louis, they both speak that country grammar, and they both suck donkey asshole. Now, I don't think Chingy and Nelly are horrible rappers. I don't, but I but but like like they're not terrible. They're not like trash. Again, I think I put a lot of people on here just for the comedy and just for me to make not funny jokes like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't think that, oh, man, they, they, they suck, bro. They, nah, I don't think that they're, they do be having some trash songs. You know? But I don't think, I don't think that they're overall just straight trash garbage. She was a tall, slim model chick I met last week. Now, now, I think it's safe to say that Nick Cannon brought us classic films like Love Don't Cross the Thing, The Underclassman. Wait, what? Right, I about to, I didn't even I don't even I didn't even watch that movie. Wait, so, those weren't those weren't classics? No, I, I th those weren't classics. Well, if you want to know what his music's like, it sucks orangutan testicles. Orangutan te bro. Ah, <sighs> cramp. I did. I never watched Underclassmen. I did watch Love, Love Don't Cost a Thing, but yeah, I, I saw the joke there because I was just like, "Wait, they're not classics?" Because I wouldn't say that Love Don't Cost a Thing was a classic. But Nick Cannon is a trash rapper. Like Nick Cannon, that is that is horrible. So that's 
two rappers that I legitimately thought were trash in this video was Gutta Gutta and Nick Cannon. Fuck you think you're fucking with? I'm the fucking boss. I can just taste the salt from a mile away. It is so many people that look up to this dude, but how can he not be one of the worst rappers of all time when he's known for rhyming Atlantic with Atlantic? I'm like Atlantic. I got the motherfuckers flying across the Atlantic. <laughs> that was a good criticism, right? I don't, but I. I honestly think Rick Ross is ass. Every time I've heard his music, it's just so boring. And his bars are just like... So this, so, so Rick Ross Rick Ross, another legitimate. And 22 with 22. Don't talk no 22. Magnum cost me 22. Do that a lot. I don't be liking that. Yeah. That's basically all this guy does is rhyme the same word over and over. Which means he sucks anal juice. Ain't no juice, bro. Nigga thought it was a game until he said he wanted to beef. I run inside your grandma house and shoot that bitch off in the teeth. This man could possibly be the worst rapper in existence. He has no flow, no rhymes, no lyrical ability, no logic, no wisdom, no sense. Like whoever is a fan of this guy needs to be physically examined. Wow. Nah, it's it's not that serious, bro. Now, Soldier Boy, again, he's one of Soldier Boy does make a lot of trash music, bro. I ha I I'll put it like he belonged on this list. I ain't even gonna lie because I remember that I listened to one of his mixtapes. I think it was I listened to two of his mixtapes. I listened to the Juice mixtape and it was like maybe like three songs that I liked on there out of like twenty. But then I listened to another mixtape called like One Up. That shit was trash, bro. Like straight up. But one thing I will say about Soldier Boy. Is he has a lot of hits that I f with that I can that I, that I can that I can turn up to like turn my swag on can't take it can't take it can't take away for that you know he got you know he got a lot of he got a lot of songs that the girls can shake their ass to too so like come on man but he still ass I ain't gonna I ain't Soldier Boy is still ass I ain't gonna cap bro he be making a lot of trash bro you know what I'm saying so. That's that's a, that's probably another legitimate one, but all the other shit that I was saying, like he has no wisdom. What the fuck? Where does that come? He he he, he definitely wise. He rich as a motherfucker. <laughs> like I don't know, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now listen. I love trap music, but Gucci is by far one of the worst rappers in the genre. Half of the time, I can't understand what this dude is saying, and when I can't understand what he's saying, he does the same whack shit Rick Ross does. Rhyme the same word over and over again. That's crazy, because that's a chorus, which I don't even have a problem with him doing that, because... I listen to this rapper named Lil B, who be repeating the same words and choruses. So I don't have a I don't have a problem with rappers repeating the same word in the chorus if it's catchy. Now Gucci was an artist that I tried to listen to, but I just can't I I couldn't get with his music. I might have to go and re-listen to Gucci because I listened to one of his mixtapes on that piff. I forgot what I think it was called like trap back and I, I just couldn't get into it. But um I did like his first shit back then, bro. The, uh How does it go? In my trap pile. That was fire. Like that first album was fire. But I probably need to give Gucci another chance cuz I tried to get into one. I tried to get into a music but I couldn't do it. But I might need to go and listen to his discography and check it out, bro. Because a perfect example of this is Manny Fresh. Real big. Oh, real big. Real big. That's my shit. So for me to say this is crazy. And and then this chorus right here, it's not even that bad. It's, 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 it's <laughs> what am I talking about? So I think I remember listening to this song. Too. Did this dude really just rhyme heavy with heavy like eight times? Since when did this shit become acceptable? Oh my god. I said, when did this shit become acceptable? But you, like I just said, back then, even back then, you you was listening to Lil B. What do you, hypocrite? 
It was, it was completely hypocritical. Nigga, why your music so trash? Why your bar so whack? Twenty One Savage is another artist that I didn't that I didn't that I didn't listen to. I haven't listened to any of his projects, but I have heard him on features. And every time I've heard him on a feature, he killed that shit, like for real. So I need to I need to go check out Twenty One Savage's music. But that's just another instance of me calling something trash that I didn't listen to. I don't even listen to listen to the man's music. Boy, you hella ass too. Who told you you can rap, dude? That, that dude was a comedian. He wasn't even a rapper. But it was just, I was just literally had to come up with 100 people. Because I had got to a point where I was literally just writing anybody name down. So. They mad because a nigga just went viral. They mad because you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't. Young nigga from the west side of town. Got a they mad because they bitch trying to grab that. They mad. Stop. You can't. Oh, my. No, that was, that, was to that was a terrible attempt at freestyle. This nigga talking about some stop. Oh, I got hype. You can't, you can't do that, right, though. Right, well, Just in case you guys didn't know, the reason why he keeps stopping is because he sucks buffalo testicles. Bro, them little, them little, them little buffalo testicles, ain't no juice. Like, that shit is just so cringy, bro. Like, this song makes me want to skip school when there's no school. This song makes me want to stop at a red light in GTA 5. This song makes me want to poop in the sink and wash my hands in the toilet. This song makes me want to strap a bomb to myself and shoot myself in the head. And as a matter of fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. But no, seriously, this dude is f trash. And his name is Lil Pump. His name is f Little Pump. What kind of f ass shit is that? I don't know. That is kind of a sus name, but it's not that serious. Lil Pump was another artist music that I listened that I heard in the in the background. I never sat down and listened to that man's music. So for me to again, for me to say that, for me to have, I, I can't have that opinion. If I never sat down and listened to the man's music, he did have a verse on uh, Ski Mask, the Slump Guy mixtape. I forgot the name of. It. I think it's that song. I forgot what it was called, bro. But he, but Lil Pump was on that song, and he and he killed this verse. I forgot the name of the song, but I never listened to the man's music. Shout out that motherland, twelve years old with guns in hand. I'ma just let Charlemagne handle this. One. And you're arguably the most terrible rapper out here, dog. Trinidad James should just be happy to still be doing shows. Come out and perform your one hit, all gold, everything. Do my side chick is my main chick, and just keep it moving. I agree. Trinidad, Tr Trinidad James is very trash. Every time I've heard him on any feature, it was ass. I think I, I better had to put French Montana on here because that is horrible too. So, like I said, it was a couple of people in here that I thought were trash, but it was a it was a lot of them that I never even listened to. Now, there's a reason this man got booed off stage. 90% of his lyrics consist of two words, A and OK. Wait a minute, is OJ the douche man the reason Lil Coochie Bird exists? Now, that's crazy because I actually like OJ the douche man. Cop a chicken dog for the 18. <laughs> like, that's like that's my shit, bro. I actually f with OJ. Like, like I f with some of OJ the douche man. Shit. He got a lot of cat. And that A OK, I was bumping that when it came out. Quarter brick, half a brick, whole brick. Hey, like what? That's again, man. Disingenuous, bro. Hypocritical and disingenuous. And I think the reason he got booed right there was because like New York. That way, I think he was in New York, and they like lyrical, so they was just gonna boo him. But that, I like OJ the Juice Man. Bitch, you guess it. Walking around with extra in my pockets, bitch, you next to us. God, this dude sucks anal fluids. You was right. And he agrees. That dude never listened to his music. That song was just a popular song back then, and I was just like, let me make it. Anal fluids, bro. That nigga 
nigga right there. Right Look there. at that nigga right there. That bitch right there. I'm gonna just let my boy Afro Man take care of this one. Puff Daddy. Enough already. Now it's P. Diddy. Still sounds shitty. <laughs> I don't think Puff, I don't think he's a terrible. Because when he be on songs, Puff Daddy like a hype man to me. Like when, and when he be on that like hype man shit, he fire. I wouldn't even classify him as like an MC or anything, but I don't know. I think he did have an album. Never listened to it. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. It could be fire. I don't, I don't know. But I don't think Puff Daddy is like P. Diddy or whatever the fuck. Yeah. I don't know. Brand new whips. Brand new this, now, this is crazy. I can never understand what this dude is talking about when he hops on the track. Haters be size and players. Right. Like what the hell is he talking about? Now, now that's crazy because I went back and listened to Lil Wayne's albums, and I actually went back and listened to the Hot Boys albums. Birdman is not a bad rapper. He really isn't. The um, the joint album he did with Lil Wayne, like Father Like Son, that was a pretty good album. Birdman is not as horrible because back then i used to think he was trash but when i actually went back to listen to the hot even on a big time the big timers albums he was good on the mugs so that was another one that's just like crazy but his verse on that hypnotized uh that, that, that when they did that song with three six was ass so that i think that was like the, i'm like bro because that song right there i was like that shit was fire until it got the Birdman verse but Birdman overall in my opinion is not like a horrible rapper. Rack city bitch, rack, rack city bitch, rack city bitch, rack, rack city bitch. Here we have yet another rapper that repeats himself over and over. Uh, Tiger, he's another artist that I never listen. I never listened to a single project. But when I, I ain't gonna lie, when I used to hear his music in the background, it did used to annoy me. So that's what I went off of right there. In the morning, nigga, at my door. I'm trying to figure out what he out there for. I never really saw the appeal in Trina. To be perfectly honest, her image is trashy and her lyrics are even trashier. Nothing but see ass. She just might be just as bad as Wacky Minaj. No. Trina, I don't think Trina's bad at all. She's somebody who I never listened to a project, but every time I heard Trina on the song, she was good. I don't, that's crazy. Like every time, like, like I say, every time I heard on the song, she got the uh, song she did with Ludacris that I like. And of course, her and Trick Daddy songs were all heat. So I was like, what are you talking about? That was just somebody, I don't know, where did that come from? And then, and then look, I'm making this seem like it's such, it's such a bad thing for women to rap about the things that they rap about. I guess I probably had a problem with it back. I don't even think I had a problem with it back then. Cause I listen to a lot of crazy ass rap music, and like, if a female rapped about that, like Lil Kim, for example, I always like Lil Kim and Foxy Brown. They rap about that shit. What makes them, what makes them different from Trina? It's crazy, bro. It's just, it's just, it's just a lot of hypocrisy and just a lot of stuff that I'm saying is just, is just very hypocritical. So. Bro, the only lame nigga here is you. <laughs> nah, all jokes aside though, in all honesty, when 2 Chainz is featured on the song, he always kills his verse. But when he's on his own shit, his verse always kills him. Now that's crazy because I was just about to say that. Well, every time I heard 2 Chainz, he killed. But I never listened to a project. So how can I say that? He's another one where I've heard the song in the background and I was like, that's kind of ass. But... When it comes to a two change mixtape or an album, I never sat down and listened to it. So how can I come to that conclusion? Now, when he get on his own shit, his verse kills him. I wouldn't even know that because I never listened to his, his any of his projects. But when he featured on shit, he be killing it. like the um, Ally Boomaye song with Game. Perfect example. Straight went in on that shit. I'm like, hey, what's up? Hello. Since you're pretty ass, soon as you came in the door. Bro, I cannot stand this 
his voice. This dude sounds like an opera singer that decided to smoke a bunch of crack while someone is constantly shoving their finger in his ass. There's just so much ass shoving in his ass, anal fluids, bro, what? And another reason, like I said, the, the reason why I'm doing that was because that was the popular thing on YouTube. You got to think about Leafy. He was he used to be talking like that, bro. He used to be talking like, like, it sounds like, it sounds like this guy got raped. So that's where I got the inspiration from. I was like, and Leafy, that had so many subscribers back then. So that's basically where I got the inspiration from. I think I don't think a lot of people know that. But that's why I'm making those stupid ass jokes that just aged terribly. Shit is so stupid. He sounds like he has a finger up his ass. Like, what? Everything I just said about the previous guy applies to this dude as well. But instead of a finger being in his ass, it's a whole fist. Oh my god, bro. This is just so much. That's just so cringy, bro. It's a fist. This what y'all like, bro? This, this this is what y'all like, bro? Fist. You're talking about he got a fist in his ass. Come on, bro. I am so better now. And y'all sleep. I'm still funny. I don't got to do all this stupid. This shit is stupid. He got a fist in his ass. That shit is dumb. I don't have to make dumbass jokes like that, bro. I'm still funny. Y'all need to watch my live streams, bro. We be getting lit. <sighs> it's, it's just so crazy how I grew up, but my audience didn't. Some of y'all, some of y'all did, and I appreciate y'all for sticking around. But most people. Y'all still on this lame, corny, shoving him up his ass shit, bro. And I'm so much more mature and I'm so better now, bro. I'm honest about stuff. I don't have to lie about shit. I don't got to do all this dumb ass. This shit is, this shit is, this shit is fucking stupid, bro. <laughs> I go. It's not funny. Like some stuff was funny, but for the most part, bro, shit is trash. Like, <sighs> I ain't gonna lie. People be saying, this is my best video, bro. Like, nigga, I highly disagree, bro. This is fucking, I got, I got heat, bro. <sighs> Y'all niggas sleep, bro. This is, this is, I don't even think I can finish this, bro. <laughs> like, I probably might have to come back and do a part two, bro. Let me, let me get, let me get to 50. Then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna end it, cause, cause, oh my God, bro, like. Got the racks up to my up, hey. Got the racks up to my up. I've always hated this guy's music. He's always screaming at the top of his lungs while reciting the wackest rhymes possible. Now, Plaz was somebody. When I heard, his, I haven't listened to any Plaz album or project, but when I heard his music in the background, I didn't hate it. It was catchy, like the show. That was my shit when it came out. So that was just another person I'd put on here. Oh, this oh plies. You know. That gun this nigga my sucks. That's probably the most factual. That's probably the most factual thing I've said. And is that the French Montana sucks, bro? Kodak, I like Kodak Black, bro. I f with Kodak Black's music, heavy. But again, he was somebody who I did I didn't listen to I never listened to a Kodak Black album back then. But that little big pop, bro, fire. Can I fall? Can I live? Can I stunt? Can I do something different for once? That's my shit. And this is the little fucker that said he was better than Pac and Biggie. I'm better than Tupac and Biggie. <laughs> How the fuck are you better than Pac and Big when you don't even have the ability to freestyle? Like, is this whack ass shit is what you call being better than Pac and Big? My nigga slave the nigga, I just came from hanging with him. I don't know what really happened, I think you home invade the nigga. That's a, that's a line from Little Big Pop. No, 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 fuck all that. He don't even have the ability to rap. Kodak Black, huh? More like Kodak sucks saggy old man's balls. I will never, I will never say that in the real world. 
I will never say saggy old man balls. That's some Adam Sandler shit, bro. And then I don't even have a problem with Kodak saying that he think he better than Pac and Big. I don't have a problem with anybody saying that. If that's how you feel, that's how you feel. It's not no, I'm not mad about that shit. I don't even think I was mad about it back then because even back then I was saying Pac and Big were overrated. I mean, if that if if that's how you feel as an artist, I ain't got no problem with that. But Kodak is an artist that I like. When I listen to when I actually sat down and listened to his music, his shit is fire. He makes some really good music. We uh, get the hotel, motel, holiday in. This right here is the white version of Flow Rider. That was funny. Now nah, that was funny. And I, yeah. Crazy, that was funny. This right here is the black version of Pitbull. In other words, they're exactly the same and they both make terrible pop music. Why the hell are these dudes even considered rappers? Now, that's crazy because Pitbull and Flo Rida are artists that I I just heard their music in the black in the background. I just thought it would have been funny to put them in there. I don't really like that style of music, but I don't hate it. Like I'm making this seem like I'm like I'm like make it seem like I hate it. I don't hate it like, oh, these motherfuckers are trash. I don't hate it like that. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with savages. You a fuck boy. You can't hang. I never really had a problem with this dude perpetrating like he's a killer because a lot of rappers are fake. The problem I have with this dude is that he sucks golf balls through garden hoses. I got that joke from Full Metal Jacket. But, um, Slim Jesus, if I'm being honest, he wasn't that bad of a rapper. So he was another person that I put on here. Oh, it's funny. He was going here and put the Slim Jesus on there, but he was somebody I didn't think he was like, you know. Honestly, when I even on that song, I didn't think he was I didn't think he was bad. My neck, my back, lick my pussy and my crack. And here we have another female rapper rapping about nothing but her pussy and penis going inside her. Pussy. On top of that, her lyrics are straight up garbage truck leakage. I'm gonna just say she's a horrible version of Trina, and that's not a good thing. I don't have a problem with Kaya because honest, I know she had albums, but that's the, the that's the only song that I've ever heard from her, and I didn't think it was bad because when it came out back then, like everybody was singing it, and I didn't think I didn't think it was terrible. It wasn't like some shit that I was bumping occasionally, but it wasn't like no terrible. It wasn't like no horrible song. And then the whole rapping about her, I don't even be caring about that, bro. When females rap about that stuff but it bothers me when their flow is repetitive and they continuing to rapping about the same topic i've said this on a lot of videos i don't have a problem with female rappers rapping about sex and you know their their, their body parts if you do it in a way that's creative perfect example is a rapper named juicy fruit but she don't only rap about sex stuff she has a lot of songs that deals with her life and stuff too, but her album, um, her Down in the Valley mixtape, she rapping, uh, she rapping about like sex, the whole project. But that project, she's super duper creative on there, bro. And a lot of dudes that hate female rap are mad that I gave that album a eight, that mixtape a eight plus plus. But y'all sleeping, bro. Y'all need to get out of that, get out of that, and just and just listen to the music. Because now what I'm dealing with is dudes got a problem with listening to female rappers. Y'all got to get out of there, all of this stupid shit. Like, the first thing you got to stop doing is calling stuff trash that you didn't listen to. If you didn't listen to it, don't call it trash. There is nothing wrong with listening to a female rapper. If you hear it and it's good... Nah, man, that's trash. What you mean? If you like it, say it. It ain't nothing wrong with it. Like, I like this video is is not a good representation of me at all, bro. It it, it is not. And the fact that people can, like be telling me this is your best video ever, ah, man. Ooh, honestly, to hell with y'all, bro. I'm, I gotta be real because. Y'all, y'all did y'all are not witnessing this growth and the and, and my growth over the years. Like, even like 
in in 2020, I was I was I was growing. You know, I think that's when I really started to like change my perspective on things and actually be honest about stuff. But now in 2023, I ain't gonna say I'm fully evolved, but bro, I am way more open minded than I was. I do not call stuff trash if I didn't listen to it. I am not disingenuous. I don't make these lame, you fucking suck anal juice. I don't make these dumbass jokes. It goes mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the biggest baller of all? If you want someone to ruin your song and possibly your career, call up Jermaine Dupree. Like, seriously, he will definitely get the job done. Just look at what he did to Criss Cross, Jaquan, the brat, Bow Wow, and the list goes on and on. Now, I might have a. He, hey, did he actually ruin the, ba the brat and Bow Wow's career? I don't. I think that's false. But uh, I might have a point with uh, Criss Cross. But. Jermaine, du I don't have a problem with Jermaine Dupri at all. I don't even want, because again, I know, I think he got solo music, but I have never listened to it. But when I heard him on features, he wasn't bad. Like, um, the Welcome to Atlanta with Ludacris, with, with Luda, I say Ludacris, with Ludacris was, was, was good. I don't have a problem with Jermaine Dupri. It was just another funny person to put on here. <laughs> Go to the dealer, you know cop that. This is possibly the slowest rapper without bars. Now, Jim Jones, I don't have a problem with Jim Jones. Never listened to his music. The stuff that I heard outside of, like, like in the background, didn't have a problem with it. He's just another one that is funny. Let's put him on there. No, scratch that. This is the slowest rapper without bars. No, uh, Jock, don't got a problem with Jock. Again, he was an artist that I never, like, sat down and listened to. But I don't I don't have a problem with him. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't think the stuff that I heard in the background, it wasn't terrible. So she got a frame on Damn. I put a thing on. No nah, f that. This is definitely the slowest rapper without bars. And I know what some of y'all are thinking. Man, why the hell are you talking about a dead man? But let's be real. Shorty Low suck bloody butthole. <sighs> bloody butthole. Honestly, bro, this is all this is all I can take from now, bro. This this is cringe. This is so cringy, bro. But Shardy Low, again, I remember I remember that I really did not like that when D L came out back then. Like I honestly, that Laffy Taffy, I thought that I still think that that's trash. So that's where that comes from. But all his other stuff that he did without D L I have absolute. I don't. They know was actually fire. They know. I remember liking that song. So again, disingenuous. Didn't really listen to the man's catalog like that, so I can't. I don't. I don't even think I can have an opinion like that. But um, the Defoel shit, I did not. I did not like that shit back then when it came out for real. I hated that song. Laugh I hated that song, bro. I still do. I guess I'll do one more. It's gonna be the all right. Who was the last one we gonna do, man? Before there was Justin Bieber, there was Aaron Carter. This was possibly one of the worst kid rappers of all time. No, 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 no. Let me take that back. Aaron Carter is still horrible, but these two little n****s are much worse. My lady trauma, mama don't like me. Now back then, these was these was the these was some dudes on YouTube that was just like making. They're not even considered like real rappers, but again, it was funny. But Aaron Carter. That song, I think that was that one, and that's how I beat Shaq. That was ass, like real shit. I remember being a kid, and I'm like, this nigga suck. Yeah, that song is ass. I don't think that's what that was though. But even that song, I remember him back then when I was a little kid. I'm like, this dude suck, bro. <laughs> so he probably might be another legitimate one, but this one was just again. Let me just throw some people on here. I don't even know nothing about these dude. I, I know. Like the Maddie B raps when he do he remix um Sorry Miss Jackson I was like no nah, that's terrible I did hear that bullshit but I know not the re the only reason why I know who knew who Jacob Satori as well was because of people like Leafy is here I used to watch Leafy that's the only reason why I knew who he was but yeah that that Maddie B he's still going viral on social media for them them covers no nah, they I think they belong on here bro. <laughs> 
That shit was terrible. Like, who greenlit that shit? That nigga, me and your daughter. Bro, pack it up, bro. She doing things like having a boy come to yeah. the studio trying to fight me. Dealing with her tie. I don't even know nothing about I just, like I said, I just, like, what the f is this bullshit? Alright, bro, that's enough, bro. I'm going to go ahead and end it right there. If y'all want to see more of this... I can't even believe I'm getting through this shit. It's just so much cringe. It's just so many unfunny things that's being said. So many disingenuous things that's being said. But if y'all want to... If y'all want me to keep doing this, run this up, bro. Please, run this up. I don't never tell y'all what to do, but now I'm telling y'all what to do. Run this up. Get them likes up, man. Get them views up. Share it. Let's run this one up if y'all want to see part two. I'm going to be real. If y'all don't run it up, ain't going to be no part two. But I'm going to go ahead and end it right there. Uh, Yeah, man. <sighs> the shit was bullshit.